All right. What's good, YouTube? NandyRoo94 here to bring you an episode of... Er, the first episode of my Pokemon Yellow Randomized Nuzlocke. And I'm just gonna hop right into it, because most of us already know all about the, uh... We know most... most about the, uh... Well, most of us that actually play Pokemon know about the intro stuff, where they basically just tell you, Oh, this is your very own adventure, yada yada yada. Alright, you know, I have a name for you. Actually, you know what? This is just gonna be a reference for my friends, just for shits and giggles. Who I sometimes play with, and eventually we'll start actually doing recordings again. In fact, he was actually on, uh, one of my... Jesus, it's been a while since I've actually sat down and recorded. I'm gonna try and find some time in between off days and stuff to actually sit down and record a bunch. And then set them up for, uh, uploads. But at the moment, let's just get right into the gritty nitty-gritty crime. Item that's in the PC, whatever it is. Okay, still potion, that's good. I tried recording this earlier and wound up going into the wrong recording, or wrong folder to actually, uh, record this. There we go. Hey, wait, don't go out. I was close. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. Turn around, let's see what our Pikachu is supposed to be. Ooh, a Tangela! I'm actually not going to complain about that, and I've got the perfect nickname in mind for you. I wonder what that makes Gary have, or Alex have. Just knock it off. Go! Alright, sorry about that. My dog was going on uh, H. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Alex, why are you here? I said for you to come by later. Ah, oh, whatever, just wait there. Look, Rudy, you see that ball? On the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You can have it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps. What about me? Be patient, Alex. I'll give you one later. We all know 
Yeah, it'd probably help if I see what was what uh, Rule 34 was randomized into. Okay, Rule 34 is a fighting type. So I'm gonna write that down next to it. That does mean I'm going to have a lot of interesting moves now. And apparently he only knows fight, which is fine. Alright, let's fight Alex. Check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Nuzlocke's don't officially start until you can actually catch Pokemon, so even if I lose this battle against Alex, I will have my chance for revenge. Ah. Oh, you're a dick! Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Root, Gramps, smell you later. What? Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. You should keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. I don't have a Pikachu just yet. I'm hoping to actually get one and it just recognizes the name and automatically has it fight for me. But I know one of the first things we're supposed to do is just go straight up into fucking Rat Wall. Shit. This will be a very interesting let's play if I keep running into encounters like that. Use minimize. You know, I don't think I've ever seen Generation 1's version of minimize. So that's interesting to me. Okay, for a second there I got scared and then I remembered that's not his type anymore. So Nito, so the Nito Ran line is either electric. Well, it's most likely going to wind up being electric. But I want to at least grind up uh, Rule Thirty Four here. Ooh, a pony! That's actually one of my favorite out of uh, some of the Gen One Pokemon. I mean, I still like Pikachu more than any other, but...
it's a good thing I don't have any Pokeballs. I'm gonna talk to Mom. Yeah, let me take a rest. I'll do some on-screen grinding. I'll probably do some speed up. To actually do it. Alright, another Needle King? That's fine. Let's go, Rule 34. you. There's the science is amazing guy that's in every single generation. And I think I'll continue that because we're going to be worried if uh, Pokemon game starts and we don't have a uh, science or technology. As we do. Center. To at least get that. Oh, hey! You came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Sure, why not? Not like you were going to give me a choice. I got his parcel. I'm glad they changed it from package. Or at least I think there's one. There's at least one version of these games that says Oak's package and it just feels so fucking wrong. Really, right at the Palatown loop. Okay, so so far I've seen a Metapod. Ooh. So far I've seen a Metapod, uh, Nido King, and a Ponyta on this route. Like, but I also have it set on Gotta Catch Em All, so there's never going to be the same Pokemon in each route. Learn any new moves? No? Am I going to go through a game through this game with just an just a Tangela that knows fucking bite? And it's not even a fighting type Pokemon? I wasn't going to read that. Ah, uh, hello, Alex. Good for time. Pokedex from Oak, that's nice.
interesting thing to have. I'm literally just trying. Here is I'm probably what I'm probably gonna wind up doing here. I'm gonna make some edit cuts and edits and shit, but I'm going to wind up. Uh, At least getting the Pokeball. Getting the Pokeballs and trying to find the first thing in each route. I'm gonna check and make sure I don't have any Pokeballs right now, and now we're going to go into uh, the Pokemart and see what our first encounters are going to be. I'm probably going to go back to Pallet. While I'm going back towards Pallet Town, I'm probably going to. Uh, there we go. But one, yep. I'm probably going to at least uh, get the town map before ending this episode. But first, we're gonna find what uh, would be good on the route. Alright, Route 1 Encounter is a Needle King. That's going to suck ass, because we name it while also fighting it. Go, Rule 34, kick its ass by biting it to death. Ooh, he's fine with it. So the grass Alright, now that it's in the yellow, I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it and hope for the best. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, fun fact about these old Game Boy Color Pokemon games. There's an actual chance for the Master Ball, of all things, to miss. Get in my ball! Okay, fine. You die. Well. That's gonna suck ass. Grind rule 34 up by. Oh, uh, that would have been fun to have. Oh well. That's a normal type of that makes... Okay, so Marowak is most likely a ghost type move, because Bite isn't considered a dark type move yet. do some grinding on screen, and then I'm probably gonna end the episode once we get back to, uh, Viridian City. Well, this would have been a fun Pokemon to... Okay, so if Bite doesn't affect Snorlax, Snorlax is also a ghost, so that's gonna be fucking fun. But then again, most of the static Pokémon have also been randomized, so this is gonna be a challenging. Ah, oh, now I've had my coffee, I feel great. Yep. Show me what you've got. Yep. Very. 
glad I randomized most of these encounters because that's actually more fun. I like that I lost Alex and then wind up fucking starting with half fucking monies. And then you wasting it all on a fucking third fight. Or the fucking third evolution. <laughs> Means I've gotta go find trainers. But first, I've gotta. I'm gonna avoid the grass here, because I need to get money, so I gotta fight trainers. Alright, I'm gonna see what you've got. Going to Viridian Forest, be careful, it's a natural thing. Yeah, I remember Viridian Forest path is just go down here, go up this way, go up this way, go over here, and you've got a fucking level 9 Pidgeotto. Came here with some friends, they're out for Pokemon fights. try to avoid the patches of grass right now so that I can actually get um, encounters. Yeah, I plan on it. I just need to get in the fights. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle. Okay. Prepare for Rule 34. Thunder Punch! Oh, this will possibly catch me as a Caterpie, because they'll be fucking useful fighting Misty. Oh, maybe not, because everything's randomized. This is gonna be an interesting playthrough. He's level 8 now, that's good. I just wish he'd actually learn a move! I defeated Ace Trainer. No, Caterpie can't cut it. You know, if I remember correctly, this is the same kid that in, uh... In uh, Generation 3 in Fire Red, he says Patter Caterpie can't hack it. So what I'm gonna try and do at the moment is just battle trainers. Cause I can cut some of the travel out. Rock, Flame, and Giovanni. I've only got 270. I've got enough for one Pokeball. Money.
Yeah, this is all getting cut out. get in the ball. through the Viridian Forest without collecting anything, and we'll find Route 2, uh, we'll find out what our Route, route 2 encounter is later. I could have had a mule. That pisses me off, I could have had a mule. legendary, which means its catch rate is a nightmare. Same with Nido King, if you're like that. Alright, he sent out a Metapod. I am, however, really just hoping that Rule 34 learns a new move. Because I'm getting tired of using Bite the same move already. We're gonna wind up being overpowered when we fight Brock. <laughs>
legendaries, and I'm going to wind up having a fucking mono nut box. That is not real. I know Brock's Pokemon are like level 12 or 14. So I'm glad Tangela is catching up.